Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Travis, thanks for tuning in. So, it's been a minute. It's been a good while since I've posted anything and uh, you know, different things in life going on. I've been moving. Uh, I was in Houston, I'm no longer in Houston anymore. I'm not at Royalwood Church. I'm now in Indianapolis, Indiana and I'm basing out of here. I'm still traveling around, doing different things, but it's awesome that I'm back here because this is basically where I grew up. Um, my parents live close by, my brother and sister live close, so uh, it's a great place to be. I'm super pumped about being here, but I haven't really been settled. I haven't had a spot to do anything. Um, I've been borrowing my friend's space to work in, and uh, I'm set up now, and I'm good to go, so we're gonna try to start pumping out some more videos and do some cool things, but currently, Today we are going to replace a tweeter out of my Yamaha HS8 studio monitors, which I strongly recommend, they're great speakers. But right before I moved, I noticed that I wasn't uh, getting a good high-end clarity. Um, and, and there was just something off about the speakers. So as I started to look into it, I realized one of my speakers, I had blown the tweeter somehow. Uh, so today we're gonna attempt to fix that. I got a new tweeter in the mail. We're gonna unbox that real quick. We're gonna look at it, see how in depth this uh, switch is. Hopefully it's it's pretty easy and it's straightforward um, and there's not uh, any soldering involved. If there is, it's cool. I do have a soldering iron, so um, we can make it happen. But let's get started. So first things first, let's check out the new tweeter. Um, I bought this off of eBay. Uh, it is a brand new tweeter and it is an OEM, so that means it's an original from the manufacturer, Yamaha. Uh, it should pop right in, hopefully. Um, but it was only like 30 bucks, so it wasn't bad at all. I was really worried at first. I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be like 100 bucks to get this thing fixed. And thankfully, it wasn't. It was only 30 bucks. So it got here in, I think, two or three days. Um, I'll put a link in the bottom. I, I think the company that I got it from has more of these. Um, but all in all, didn't think it was too bad. So here it is, the new tweeter. And I think we're good to go. I mean, everything looks good on it. Um, I think. A couple of spots right here. But I don't think that has to do with the actual tweeter. I think it's just the seal ring. Yeah, it's just like the little seal that goes on. But anyways, this is what it looks like. I don't know if we can get it focused in or not, but that's it. So, we're going to try to pop it in. It looks like, I don't know if we can get the two prongs here. It's either gonna be soldered or there's gonna be two little, uh, I can't remember what those things are called, but they slide on, they're like sleeves, and they'll slide on and like kind of lock into place. So hopefully that's what it is. We'll see when we take it out of the actual speaker, but this is what we're gonna be replacing. So, let's do it. Okay, so right here we have both my speakers here. This is pretty crazy right now, but. Um, so I believe this tweeter is blown. If we listen to some music here, uh, my friend. I don't know if you can really hear it or not, but. Over here you got a nice, good, clear, crisp tone. High ends coming out. But this side, it's not so much. It's more muddy and it's just getting all of the low register. So our attempt is gonna be to replace this tweeter and uh, get it sounding right. So here we go. All right, so first things first, we're going to unplug. We're gonna power off speaker, make sure it's off. I don't think it's shorted out or anything like that. And then we'll just disconnect everything and spin the speaker around and um, get started on replacing this. So I'm having a little bit of trouble getting the tweeter out actually. So behind here, there's like a porthole and I believe that I can um, stick something back in there and kind of help push it. I'll push on the magnet and it should pop it out. 
Um, I'm gonna use a drumstick because that's just what I had the most handy around. But uh, we'll see if that works. Okay, everything looks to be in good shape. Um, I was right, I don't know if you can really see that, but right here, these two little pieces, I don't know why it's not focusing. Let's see if we can get it here. All right, these guys are just little sleeves that slide one, two, tweeter and I can't get it off so that's not good let's take our new speaker our new tweeter let's plug it in be careful not to bend the little tab that it hooks to um, I just did that thankfully it didn't break but I assume that it could if you do it too hard. Um, but yeah, really easy uh, swap out so far. And we'll just pop that back in place. Should fit fairly snug. Back in, nice and snug, get tight. Let's hook it all back up. Alright, so this is speaker we fixed. I believe it's working now, it sounds good. It sounds just like the other side. That was it. It was a really super easy, simple fix. Probably took me 15 minutes total. Um, so if you do have one of these speakers, I encourage you to not freak out. Um, if for some reason it's not working, doesn't sound right, um, the replacement parts are pretty cheap. This is the old one. I can't really tell what's up unless I take all this apart and I'm sure I'll be able to see it then. But the tweeter, looking really close, I mean, you can, I can't really tell to be honest. Um, so, but it, it was bad because it clearly wasn't working. This other one is working nice. Uh, I think you could hear it in there. Hopefully you could hear it in the video. Um, but yeah, easy fix, 30 bucks, 15 minutes of your time. Super, super easy. So, um, hope everybody's doing good and uh, this helps somebody out there. And uh, have any questions, comments, whatever, leave it below. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.